Hi, my name is Ann Pedke, and I'm a proud Student Conservation Association alum who served with SES Hudson Valley Corps in New York City. Today, I'll show you how to create a wildflower seed ball that can help restore pollinator habitat. 75% of the food crops we eat depend upon pollinators, but it can be tough out there for pollinators like bees and butterflies with increasing urbanization. So helping to create these pockets of habitat can make a huge impact. In order to make a seed ball, you need just four simple ingredients. Soil, water, clay, this is natural red clay that will biodegrade back into the soil, and seeds. Be sure to choose wildflower species that are native to your region, as of course we never want to introduce any invasive species into the local ecosystem. The first step in creating your seed ball would be to grab a pinch of clay about this size and go ahead and flatten that into a disc. Once we've done that, we're going to grab a pinch of soil and fold that soil and clay together to be an integrated mix. We don't want there to be too much clay or your seed ball will be too compacted and your seeds will have trouble sprouting. But if there's not enough clay, your seed ball may crumble and your seeds may blow or wash away before they have a chance to sprout. Once you have those mixed together, you could go ahead and roll that into a ball and then use your thumb to create a tiny pocket right in the top, sort of a bowl shape like this. Next, you're gonna go ahead and drop your seeds right into the top and fold that together. Just four or five seeds is enough so they don't start to crowd each other once they begin to sprout. Once those are all tucked safe inside, you can go ahead and roll that together. And now you have your seed ball, which you are ready to toss into an appropriate area when full sun where your native wildflowers can thrive. 